Hello and welcome to Smart Teaching. In our today's class, we are going to discuss future perfect tense. In what different situations we can use the sentences of future perfect tense? How to make positive sentence, how to make negative sentence and how to make interrogative sentence of future perfect tense. We are going to discuss all these points in our today's class. Where to use the sentences of future perfect tense? The future perfect tense expresses an action in future before another action in the future. Or you can say this is the past in the future. For example, you know that the train will leave the station at 9 a.m. You also know that your friend will arrive at the station at 9.15 a.m. to catch the train. Here, what you can say to your friend? You can simply call your friend on his mobile to give information about train, about the timing of the train. When he attends your call, you can say, when you arrive at 9.15 a.m., the train will have left or the train will have gone. Here the second part of the sentence, the train will have gone, shows past in future. Because it did not happen in reality, you are thinking about it. You can make an idea about it. You can guess that this will have happened before another action. So the sentences of future perfect tense expresses an action in future before another action in the future. How to make positive sentence? Whatever the subject is, you need to put will not after the subject plus third form of verb. V3 means third form of verb which is also called past participle plus object. Then the sentence will become I will have eaten the cake. We will have made a report. You will have made a report. They will have written a novel. Lucy will have played tennis. He will have made a report. She will have written a letter. It will have grown very fast. Lucy and John will have made a report. How to make negative sentence of future perfect tense? It is very simple. All what you need to do is put not in between will and have. Then the sentence will become, I will not have played cricket. Or you can use contraction of will not, which is want. Then the sentence will become, we won't have played cricket. They won't have played cricket. Lucy won't have played tennis. He won't have played football. She won't have played tennis. It won't have played tennis. Lucy and John won't have made a report. How to make interrogative sentence of future perfect tense? It is again very simple. All what you need to do is bring will at the beginning of the sentence. Then the sentence will become Will he have made a report? Will she have made a report? Will it have made a report? Will we have eaten the cake? Will I have played cricket? Will Lucy have played tennis? Will you have eaten a cake? Will Lucy and Mary have eaten a cake? Let us see a few examples. What will she have done after 10 days? Now this is a girl who says that 
she will read all these books within 10 days. She always does whatever she says. So you can make an idea on the basis of her performance, on the basis of her determination. So you can make the same sentence saying, she will have gone through all these books within 10 days. Where will the train have reached after one hour? The train will have reached Manchester after one hour. The train is on the way to Manchester. So you can guess and you can say that after one hour the train will have reached Manchester. What will the ladies have done after two hours? The ladies will have spent a lot of money after two hours. They are in the market buying things. What will the student have done after 10 days? This is a lazy student. She does not take interest in her studies. So you can guess, you can make an idea that this student will not have completed her homework. So you can make a sentence, she will not have completed her homework within 10 days. Or you can use the contraction want instead of will not. Then the sentence will be, she won't have completed her homework. What will the little girl have done after one hour? She will have done her work because now you can see in the picture that the little girl is busy in doing her work. So you can make an idea and you can guess that she will have done her work within one hour. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I suggest you to watch this video more than 10 times. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.